Okay, so this is a match that I'm gonna commentate. It's me versus Vans from the Big House. Um, this was wi winners finals, so I just beat Kirby Kaze to get here. He beat Unknown to get here. This was the fourth match. I was down um, two to one right here, and I lost the last match. I blew a three stock lead, I think, or a two or, two or three stock lead, and I suicided on my last stock. So I was really pissed. And this is one of the few times I honestly rage kind of picked back to the same level. Like, I, okay, what if, I probably would have thought about it and then picked this level, but I was really mad, so I just fucking picked Yoshi's sword right after I lost. So, let's watch a little bit. So my game plan versus Peach is mostly don't get hit by down smash, don't get grabs. Um, do your best to avoid combos. I just got raped right there. But I want to avoid combos and just get drills and get grabs and get backers. So he's beating me so far, and this is like really annoying me. Um, he gets the earliest kill because I had shitty DI right there, so I'm kinda, I am kind of just shook it off in my head and I said, alright, let's just play it. Um, I get down smash like an idiot there. Alright, pause. So, I did a little shine stall right there. Um, that's something I like to do a lot. If you watch my matches, you might say I spam it. It's basically, I do shine stalls to throw off people's timings a little bit. So in that situation, he... Fuck, I have to watch it again now. Yeah. So in that situation, he... He knocked me off the platf off the level, and I just shined to see if he would dash attack, and he did. And because he dash attacked, I could punish it with a delayed back air. So that shine was just a little trick you could like use because when I got knocked off, I thought there's a pretty good chance because if he got the dash attack, I would have been dead pretty much. He would have got a free edge guard on me. So I figured he's already ahead. He's gonna go for something a little risky just to get a big lead, and he did, and I was right. And when he did it, I did a little shine just to check, and once he did it, I reacted, and then I back him, which. Which is just a little trick I could do. Unpause. So I'm still behind you. I have to make I have to make up this match somehow. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I keep shine stalling because I don't know how to get on. I land a drill there, but I fuck up my up smash. I get really lucky there. I'm gonna pause. I get really lucky there. That's basically that that's a trick you can rely on sometimes with Peach, where you're trading an aerial with up smash. Um, if you fuck up, you're gonna get edge guarded and you might die. Um, but if it works. It's a free stock. So there I knew I had to take a risk because I was behind. And that was, that was just what was going through my head. Like, he's at kill percent. I need to get a kill right now or else I'm probably going to take him more damage. So I went for the risky move, just going for a traded up smash. And it, it ended up working. So that gave me the confidence to just beat the shit out of his next stock. I don't remember what I actually did. We'll see. Unpause. All right, I'm saying tech skill. Then I wasn't actually that nervous, honestly, playing this. My game plan right here is I want to do as much percentage before I die, and I did a fucking zoo up smash right there, that was awful. <laughs> I get back on the stage really well there, but I messed up my drill and I'm in a bad spot. Pause. So, something you'll see that I do is, in situations where I'm kind of scared, or I try to play really, really safe, I'll do a lot of full hops, because if I do short hop pressure, it's really possible that he can near me out of shield. But if I do full hop pressure and I'm just generally slower, there's a chance that he'll do something and mess up and I can back her him or or I'll just hit him straight up with a drill <clears throat> which is what happened here so I got a hit and I forced him to get off stage on pause and I do this cool little shine people get really impressed by this but honestly it's really really easy <laughs> the, you have invisible invisibility the entire time so it's not hard at all um, so now I'm ahead and I'm really happy about this I go safe to the ledge down there I'm not gonna go for a risk option I fucked up my drill there and I got down smashed I could have done that better and it would have been really big so now this is the hard part. I did an awful up smash and an awful get down smash. I'm just trying to get a hit right now. I traded with neutral, it wasn't that bad. That, I'm gonna pause. That was really good what I did right there. Um, I waited for him to come in with an attack and I did a shield pivot to turn myself around. And then I landed a drill into a reverse wave shine into up smash. Um, little things like that, little shield pivots that I throw in sometimes can throw people off. So the reason he, probably part of the reason he attacked me was because I did a shield pivot. Because I, I ran at him and then I sh turned around and shielded, so it looked like I was approaching him. Um, and then when he threw out his attack, I did a full hop and he missed. And then I punished his landing lag with the drill. And then I converted that into an up smash, so now we're even again. So there's just that little trick that got me back in the game. On plus. Now I'm looking for hits. A big part of this is looking for back airs. Big part was peeps. You see right there, I'm looking for back airs. Cool. Alright, I'm going to pause. That up smash was actually like one of the best things I've ever done. Because if you watch it really close, I did a wave dash in place so that my dash wouldn't go far. Because in order to do a, a shine up smash, jump cancel, you, you have to be in your full dash, you can't be in your initial dash. So I knew that if he teched in place, wait, shit, I have to rewatch it actually. Oh yeah. Okay, so that up smash was really good. Um, 
That was actually one of like the best things I've ever done. Um, it was a shine up smash, but it was a lot of reaction time and a little trick I did at the beginning to make it work. Basically, in order to shine up smash out of a run, you have to be in a full run. You can't be an initial dash. And that was the only way I could have killed him right there. A regular up smash, I don't think it would have killed. Or maybe, but it would have been harder to hit because shine's faster. Um, so what I did is, when I hit, hit, him with, hit him with the back air and he didn't tech, I wave dash in place. I ran at him and wave dash in place just a tiny bit so that I would be at the full distance for a full dash. So that if he did a stand up, I would be able to do it. And I kind of just had a feeling that he would do a stand up because of how far away we are from each other. That's a sound spectrum trick, by the way. You up throw someone and then they're on the ground and then you don't move and then they stand up because they think you're far away and then you punish them. So in that situation, I stood far enough away so where he thought he was safe if he stood up. And then, but I was spaced, I was actually spaced just perfectly to do a shine up smash. And then it got me the kill, which put me in the lead. On pulse. So now I'm, I'm pretty confident right here. I think I can win the match. Let's see what happens. That down smash wasn't that bad, honestly. I'm at high percent where it doesn't really matter. He does good pressure there and grabs me. And I, this time I tried to do a trick inside me, but I did it way too early. I'm, lo I'm looking for a hit now. I get a really close up smash, like that barely hit. And now I'm just being safe. I don't do anything risky. I'll pause. That was one of the best like DIs I've ever done in this match. I was playing really good here, and if you watch that down smash, I uh, I DI'd straight up and I smashed DI'd up as well, so it only hit one hit. If that had done more damage and knocked me down, I could have lost the match because he could have done a tech chase and killed me. So it was really good that I DI'd that, and that was just kind of being clutch right there. I'll pause. This I'm just fishing for back airs. I get a back air. I get a back air. I'm using platforms to get back airs, and in this he he fucks up. He does a bad forwarder, and I get an easy off smash. And then I go on to win the set on Founder Dreams. Yeah. Okay, that, that uh, concludes the uh, podcast. Lovage. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And, uh, yeah, subscribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>